So the final race on week one then is the Bally Britain Novices Chase. There's only three runners. Tottenham is Chesley on Van Rensburg, Pessels for Darren Thompson, and Words That Hurt for Joshua Sutherland. So, just three then. And Leon Van Rensburg got a horse called Chess, I'm pretty sure a few seasons ago. Joshua Sutherland had a horse called Chess. So, good job we've not got two horses called Chess in the same race, and there's only three of them. Anyway, let's see what could happen this time. Doesn't mean to say it's going to be unexciting just because there's only three of them. But you stay on your feet and you'll pick up a bit of cash in week one. Well, these three trainers have already had some decent placings anyway. With Joshua Sutherland already had a winner or two, or well, three or four to be honest, and so is Leon. Not sure that Darren's had any on the jumps, but he's uh, got a chance of getting one here. As they Make their way towards the second of the nine fences. And Words That Hurt is in front. And Pessos and then Chess. Well, it's certainly been an interesting first week. I wanted to put them early on with a race kit, which everybody sorted out. So well done to all the people that did that. And one or two of the newcomers have had some decent starts as well. Plenty of wins in the champion trainer from last season. Joshua Sutherland has started well as they come to the third. And Leon's horse chest didn't jump that all that well. And has just dropped back a little bit. And words that hurt is the leader. Pessos in second. Chess is in third. This next one, then. Oh, it was Darren Thompson's horse Pessos that made the mistake this time, just to let everybody know that heavy duty negotiations have been going on with Stu Gray this week to try and get him to come back next week and do some commentating on the Hunter Chase. He's start and it's the part of the beach next week, and he loves that race. Lots of money stuffed into envelopes and shoved under doors as a nurse. Try and persuade him to come back and join the th merry throng. And it's words that hurt in the lead. Pessos is second and Chess is third as they take that ditch. And they come down to the seventh. That's the third from home. Words of Hurt is clear of Pessos and Chess. Those Hunter Chases wouldn't be the same without Stu telling you all about the little places where they, where they are. The little stories of their town and cheese rolling down hills and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, we've got to get him back. Anyway, it's Words of Hurt that is the leader and is well clear of Pessos. Chess looks like it's a potentially a surprise dud for Leon Van Rensburg. Well, that mistake it made earlier may have put pain to its chances. They're all over the jumps now then. They've got a two and a half furlong running, which is where the race could totally change. The words that hurt is in the lead. Pessos is doing his best to reel him in. Chess isn't going to get anywhere there, I don't think. And words that hurt up to his work. He's still Two, three lengths clear. Looks like he's going to take it quite comfortably. So into the closing stages, not towards the line. The final race of the week, taken by Wills that hurt. Pessels second. Chess is going to be a distant third. And then, we're well, going for the card court. I don't know why, because we can do it without the card court, really, couldn't we? Words of Hurt takes it. Pessons was second. So there it is then. Words of Hurt, Joshua Sutherland takes it. Pessons for Darren Thompson, second. And Chess for Leon Van Rensburg. Probably disappointed with that one in third. So that's the end of week one then. We're back for week two.